Welcome to our section about the new GRE. In this video, we're going to have a quick overview of the new test. Let's start. First, let's talk about the sections that are going to be on the test. You will have an analytical writing section. This section will have two essays. Each essay, you will have 30 minutes. Then after, you will have a verbal reasoning section. Here, you will have two sections with 30 minutes with 20 questions each. Moreover, you're going to have the quantitative reasoning. There are two sections with 35 minutes. You will have 20 questions each. Then you'll have a research and an honest course section that the research will be identified, but the honest course section you don't know if it's part of the test or not. The scoring for the new GRE is actually very different from the old one. Now the scores will range from 130 to 170 for the verbal and the quantitative reasoning. For the analytical, you will have from 0 to 6. Now remember, for your school, this is going to um, vary. Depending on the school, they will ask you between 130 to 170. So the best thing is just to always check your school website to make sure that you're targeting to the right um, score. Let's talk about the quantitative section of the GRE. Here you're going to have four different type of questions. You will have the multiple choice questions with only one answer out of five choices. Then you're going to have the multiple choice questions where you can have either one or more answer choices. Uh, I think this is the hardest one from the whole test because if maybe the answer is one, or maybe you have two answers, or maybe you have more than two answers. Then you're going to have the numeric entry question. That means that you have to type it. And you will have the quantity comparison questions where you have to need to, where you compare two columns. Let's do some examples to have a little bit of an idea how the test is going to look like. Now, remember, these are going to be simple examples. The questions for the GRE for the quantity section will have arithmetic, algebra, geometry, and data analysis. But today, we're just doing examples so you have an idea how these sections are going to be. Now, for the quantity section, you're going to have two columns. And you will have the following choices. Either column A is greater, column B is greater, column A and B are equal, or there's no relationship between the two columns. Let's see. Let's say they give you something like this. Column A says the area of a circle with radius 4 units. And then column B tells me the perimeter of a square with area 25 units squared. Here I need to identify which column is greater. Let's go ahead and do it. First, I need to find the area of a circle that has radius 4 units. Well, pretty easy. Remember, the area of the circle is 5 squared. Then you have on the second one, the perimeter of a square that has an area of 25 units squared. When I solve for these two guys, I get here that pi r squared is 16 pi, which is around 50.24 units squared. For column B, I have that the area is 25. Since this is a square, each size has to be only 5 units. Therefore, remember, a square has equal size. Therefore, the perimeter is going to be 20 units. Here, easily you can see that column A is greater. So this is how the quantity section is going to work. Now, this is just a simple example, for, but it's just to give you an idea how they're going to look like. Let's do one multiple choice. So for the value of x, here you will only have one result. So let's do it. I have 2x minus 5 equals to 4 parentheses x minus 1. Well, let's go ahead and solve for the value of x. Remember, first I do the parentheses, 4 times x, 4 times 1, and I get 2x minus 5 equals 4x minus 4. Then I put all the x's together. Since this x is positive, she goes to the other side negative. And this 5 goes to the other side positive. I get 2x minus 4x equals 5 minus 4. Then solving for x, 2x minus 4x is negative 2x equals 1. Finally, x is equal to negative one half. Bingo. You go ahead and you choose answer A. Then you can have something like this. 
Solve the following inequality. 3x minus 6 is greater than 9. Now, when you solve this and you pass the 6 to the other side, you need to add 9 plus 6 is equals to 15. Finally, you divide by 3, both sides, and you get that x has to be greater than 15 divided by 3, which is 5. Be careful here. Well, I can have more than one answer. Remember, x greater than 5 means that x could be values that are greater than 5, not including 5. Well, from my choices, the only values that I can see here that I can work with is 6 and 7. Remember, 5 is not included because I don't have the equal sign. Therefore, here you will have to choose B and E. So this is a multiple choice that has more than one answer. Finally, you have the numeric entry. For example, what is the average arithmetic mean of negative 2, 1, 3, and 6? Well, I need to add negative 2 plus 1 plus 3 plus 6. Here I'm going to have, let's do the positive first. 6 plus 3 is 9. 9 plus 1 is 10. 10 minus 2 is 8. Then I divide it by the number of items that I have, 1, 2, 3, 4, 8 divided by 4 is equals to 2. Finally, oops, and that's a mistake. This has to be a 2. So be careful on the test, you don't make the same mistake. <laughs> then finally, how can I get ready for the test? Well, first, be realistic. You need to know your basic math. Now, the new test will have a calculator, but it's on the screen. Now, believe me, there's not enough time to use this calculator sometimes. So make sure you know your basic math, your multiplications, um, all that, because this will save you a lot of time. Then set goals and practice. A lot of people come and they tell me, Vanessa, I want to have a 170. Well, anything is impossible, but we need to practice. Finally, Please have fun while you study. I promise you, the GRE can be a lot of fun. Even the verbal section, which, you know, <laughs> I think is probably harder than the quantitative. But still, just make it like a project for yourself and just do it. Grad school is amazing. And I promise you, you'll have tons and tons of fun study. Please go to our website, watch our videos. And anytime you have a question, please go to Facebook and post it for us. Again, thanks so much for learning and I'll see you later.